Hi friends, it's Yuris here and this is Tattoo Shop Talk and today another review, so another Tattoo Shop Tech Talk. I've done some reviews about cartridge needles and this time it will be about cartridge needle grips, so about these wonderful things where to put those needles in. And this time we have a lineup of three known brands. The first one is Barber DTS cartridge needle disposable grips, next one is from Elite and this one here is from Ego or ego, I don't know how you pronounce it, but it's these. These are the funky shape looking ones. And the same way like all the reviews before, I'll base them on my own experience and things I heard from my colleagues and people I work with. And this one will be like always based on performance, the price and what makes sense to buy and what not. Probably they all make sense to buy, but I'll talk about ups and then about downs of each particular brand in a moment. So let's start with the price. So if we're looking at the price, they pretty much already lined up. So these here from Ego or Ego, they are the most expensive ones. And then next one would be Elite and then it would be Barber DTS. But these can change because for example, these are usually a bit more expensive than Barber, but now from the supplier where we buy them, they have some sort of discount. So they work out the cheapest one. The difference between these two in price, it's not that dramatic and these are just a bit more expensive. That would be about price. Now let's talk about build quality and consistency of them. And let's start with the most expensive one. They come in two colors, blue and gray. So for those who that matters, it's a nice touch. I'm one of them people who always wrap them in some paper towel and grip tape. So the color choice is not really affecting me. I just, I just take what's there. And now let's take all of them out and see how they look like. So these are gray ones, the funky, sexy shape looking ones. These look like a plastic version of original Cheyenne grip and a nice touch when you buy them they throw in two of these push bars that you can use on some machines but not on the Cheyenne because they have a different mount for them. But it's nice, free stuff. Same story here with the leak. They look like original Cheyenne grip just made of plastic. Maybe less grows and details like a barber's thing. But same story there. Let's put the gloves on for those people who always get upset when some tattoo stuff is not touched without gloves. But this is only for demonstration, so that doesn't really matter. But just to avoid that internet noise, let's put some gloves on. So this is what we have here, a bunch of moving parts. This is the part that fits to the machine. And this is the part that you adjust when you want to change the length of needle. So let's see how it looks on a machine. This is here and this part you change the distance here and with that you change length of needle and one thing to keep in mind with all of them there's no specific indicators for you to know which way you put needle in so every time you set up your machine you put the plastic on pack it whichever way you do it and then when you need to get it on an angle that it's good for you you have to readjust some things and let's put a needle in and see how it sounds because in comparison to original Cheyenne grip these are a bit noisier and tend to rattle a bit more. So you open this part up and then you can move in and out and see how far you want your needle. Let's have the thing running. You can still loosen up and change the thing. And you can hear the noise. Not the most noisiest one, but still way louder than the original metal grip. Yeah. With this one, you can get needle out pretty far because it's just you move this part and the shorter it goes, the more loud it gets. It gets pretty crazy loud. This grip is nice, it feels comfortable, it's not slippery. For myself, I would anyway put a bit of paper towel over it and some grip tape because I, I like them bigger and softer and you can still work with it. Obviously, if your machine is packed, this part is covered, but you can get to the part if you want to adjust the needle length. Pretty cool thing. Next one, let's go with barbers. These are these nice looking things. They have the clicky thing, like almost like the original grip looking things. It's built from some pretty solid plastic and I have never had any trouble with them. Let's stick it on the machine. It just screws on here like all of them. And once it's on there, you can also adjust the needle length by moving this part and it have the clicky mechanism in there. So this is how it works. Feels comfortable, never had any issues with them. Let's see how it sounds with the needle. And like I mentioned before, none of them have some specific indicators to know which way you have put the needle in. So this one is a bit sideways, so you have to open this part, readjust 
and tighten it up. Which might be a bit uncomfortable if you have it all packed up with some plastic and something and this part is covered so you have to be a bit more careful and open it, readjust it, tighten it and the noise. Again it changes from that how far needle is out. This is pretty acceptable. This is wild. This is how much the needle is out and if we get it more out then it gets more quiet and this would be the maximum. Which is pretty decent. And now let's have this one from Elite which is pretty similar looking. I don't know who copied who but probably they both copied the original one. Same story, pretty original looking nice to touch it's not slippery or anything and you can always put something over it if you prefer things a bit more thicker and let's load it up in a machine screws on like all of them again no specific indicators which way needle would be if there are some tricks please let me know in the comment section because that could be useful because with these like i said if it's all packed you have to fiddle a bit more put a needle in so pretty loud at this length. So yeah, this one is pretty loud. We get to the short loud part. And we can extend it a fair bit. So this is how loud it sounds. The noise doesn't bother me in person, but I heard from some people, they're like, oh, I can't do this because it's like working back to coil machines to have all that noise in the shop, so they prefer super quiet grips. Not a big deal, but something to keep in mind. One thing I want to mention when you're switching between these two, it's not a big deal, but you notice. If you work with one or another, it's fine, but that moment when you switch, it's a bit like, oh, this is something different. And that would be this part, how much the cartridge sinks in a, in a grip, as you can see here probably hopefully elite have cartridge a bit more synced in and i would say i prefer that but maybe it's just a matter of getting used to it because it's not a big deal to have barbers it just feels a bit different when you switch but you work for a few minutes and it's all good those little things may affect somebody's work so something to keep in mind so that would be about comfort and sort of build quality and things of that nature. And now about the downsides, which is probably also a build quality thing. I never had a single problem with the Barber DTS cartridges. That would be this one. They've been always the same. You buy them, you open a package and it's fine. I don't know, maybe I'm lucky or maybe they're just that good in their quality control. With the Elite grips, I never had some serious issues, but sometimes you have some production leftovers like a plastic bits and splinters so you have to always check and maybe clean those things out because cartridge might not fit or the the push bar might get stuck into it and you're like oh what's going on and then you have to check and and clean so that's a little thing and it can be sorted but still it's a thing and with egos or egos i like to work with them i like the product but i had a couple boxes i don't know if it's some error or it's some mistake or it's just a bad bunch but this tube where the push bar goes in was just way thinner than it usually would be it was so thin that the push bar wouldn't go through and i think i have saved it here and this is unpacked so you can even see with the eye if you know to look for it you just see like oh this one is wrong i think if i would contact a supplier they would sort that situation out but it was like a few tubes in the box which makes them even more expensive this would be the regular one and this is the the thin situation and in the nice one this thing just slides in easily and you can tighten it in this one it wouldn't even go through so that did suck but i haven't had that issue since i ordered them more and maybe it was just unlucky a bad batch a bad box i work with these grips with cheyenne machines i heard from people that they work with injector type machines you just need some sort of adapter and they should work with every machine with this sort of fitting and basically this sort of type of machine as for final conclusions there's no best one and there's no worst one i still like to work with these one thing that seems a bit weird when you tighten it it seems like it can go more and that it might be a bit loose but i never had an issue that it would slip or anything that's a bit weird but they are good they are comfortable they are the most pricey out of lineup elite somehow always lands in that you get what you pay for they're the cheapest one they might have some issues in quality but they work they are a bit louder than these but then again 
it's similar price category. This one is also not quiet, but cartridge grips from Barber are those which I never had a single issue so far. So I would say these are my favorite, just in terms of quality, but I like to use all of them and it just depends which, which supplier I'm ordering for. If they have these, I would order these. If they have that, I'll, I would order that. And the difference in price is not that major. And now question to you, if you know some other brands that are good and lands in that price and quality balance, then share it with everyone watching and drop it down in a comment section. And like with every video, if you liked it, press that like button. If you didn't, sorry. If you have anything to say, mention or recommend, leave a comment. Thank you all for watching. See you in the next video. Have a nice one.